So here we are. Many have asked me to do this. And let me just say that this is my Christmas present to you. This torture. The pain. I hope you're happy with yourself. And what does E.T. have to do with Christmas? Absolutely nothing. Now, everyone knows about E.T. How it caused the crash of the video game industry. How many, many copies were dumped over the ocean. How it was a movie. Honestly, it's been many years since I've seen the movie. All I can remember is... Nothing. But on to the game. This is the first Atari 2600 game I had the mispleasure to review. I wasn't sure what to expect, so I played it as it presented itself. After five minutes of wandering around aimlessly collecting dots and falling in pits, I gave up. So I looked up the instruction manual, and it's a good thing I did. Although it's not entirely obvious, your goal is to find three pieces of a telephone so that E.T. can call home. He then needs to get to the forest and board the rescue ship. All while doing this, he collects candy, avoids pits, and runs away from a scientist and an FBI agent. You also have an energy meter, which is basically a timer. When you move, you lose energy. When you fall down a pit, you lose energy. When you emerge from a pit, you lose energy. When you run, you lose energy. The only way to restore it is to eat candy. And even that's a chore. As you run around looking for telephone pieces, you need to avoid pits. And the pits? Fuck those pits! They are the feature that kills this fucking game. It wouldn't be so bad if there was a good fucking hit detection. Instead, you get something that you can be a few feet away from a pit and still fall down the fucking thing. And what's worse, maybe when you emerge from a pit, you'll fall back down the damn thing. Why does there need to be so many fucking pits? It wouldn't be so bad if you didn't have all these freaking NPCs running after you too. Elliot is there as well, but he doesn't do too much. You can somehow give him candy or hold it for you for bonus points. But if you can't get past the game to the spaceship, then why bother? Every time an NPC catches you, they'll drag your kicking carcass back to a building. The FBI guy will steal a phone piece or your candy. I'm not sure what the scientist takes, if anything. Maybe your virginity. I don't fucking know. It's more of an annoyance, especially when trying to find all the phone pieces. Oh, and the phone pieces? Guess where they are. Yup. Down the fucking pits! So you purposely need to throw yourself down pits just to find the phone pieces. Once you get all the pieces, you need to get to a certain part of the map and press the button to call for the rescue ship, and then wait until the ship appears to rescue you. If the scientist or FBI agent are on the same screen, the ship won't land! At least, this is according to the manual. So, what good is the candy you're collecting? Simple. Bonus points. You can give it to Elliot, and he'll hold it. Or you can eat it at a very specific place for a very minuscule health buff. But, is it worth it? Fuck no, because by the time you find a place, you'll probably have the scientist prying your ass. For the specific points, don't worry. The game does give you at least that. Well, sort of. See the bar at the top of the screen? And how there's different icons in the center? Those are considered power zones, in which ET can expend a bit of energy. These range from arrows that instantly transport you to the next screen, to a power that chases any hostile NPCs off of the screen to a question mark, which is what you really want. This will tell you if there's a phone piece in a pit on the screen. It'll flash for a split second, so you better not miss it. Now, I'd really love to show you what the ending looks like. I really would. Truth be told, I really tried hard to get there. I couldn't. I, I just couldn't. Fifteen minutes was more than enough time to attempt this piece of shit. So, I hope this review shuts all you bastards up that were telling me to review this piece of crap. Now, I can't in good conscience rate this game on a 10 point scale like pretty much all my other games. There's just not enough detail, especially since it's an Atari game, so I decided to go on a 5 point scale like my Flash games. Upon saying that, let me just say that, although I rated a 0 to Caveman games, I'd rather play that piece of shit than this piece of shit. So, what is my rating of this piece of crap? A freaking goose egg. Yeah, zero out of fucking five. I was gonna rate it a one just to feel sorry for it. But fuck it! This game doesn't deserve shit! This is Reaper, and fuck this game for wasting 15 minutes of my life that I'm never gonna get back. But, in any case, have a Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then have a happy holiday season. If you don't celebrate any holiday, you're shit out of luck, because I'm not wishing you a happy regular day.